Yo, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to share with you a dope Neville Goddard story that reveals an exercise, this one technique that'll help you manifest anything, guaranteed. Okay, here's a story. There was this one lady in her 70s who had a home. It was an old home, but it was hers. And she wanted the exterior of her home to be painted and the interior redecorated. But there was a problem. She had no money. She was broke and couldn't do either of those things. However, that didn't stop her from going after what she wanted. Because she remembered Neville telling her, listen, to live as though her desire is already a reality. And so, that's what she did. Where, and this will sound crazy to some, but she imagined her old house with a brand new coat of paint. She imagined new furnishings, new decoration, and all the trimmings. She walked in her imagination through the newly decorated rooms. She even walked around outside. Again, in her imagination, admiring the fresh paint. And at the end of her imaginal act, she handed the contractor a check in full payment for all the work done. She entered this imaginal scene faithfully as often as she could during the day and each night before falling asleep. Check this out. Within two weeks, you guys, two weeks, she received a registered letter from Lloyds of London telling her she had inherited, ready for this? $7,000. And it's from a woman she'd never met. Huh. She actually had only known the woman's brother. Not the woman, but the brother only. And not even that well, too. Almost 40 years before. She did a small service for the woman 15 years prior when this brother passed away in her country. But she hasn't heard from the woman since then. For 15 years. And now, out of the blue, she gets a gift from her for $7,000? Which, by the way, ended up being way more than enough to cover the cost of the house restoration. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, she definitely got what she wanted. And then some. In her words, plus many, many other things I desire. Boom. Coincidence? Would have happened anyway? I don't think so. Question. So what was the cause? Who ultimately did it? Was it some woman in England thousands of miles away? Nope. That was just the bridge of incident. The series of events that led her towards the fulfillment of that state. But the cause isn't physical. No, the cause is invisible. The cause is God. It was a lady's imagination that made it happen. Straight up. Look, she understood the difference between thinking of her desire and thinking from her desire. Because thinking of her new home would imply what? That she's not in it. It's just a thought. It's just an image, right? But her thinking from her new home. It's proof that she's in it, that she actually entered into the image and gave it substance. How so? By smelling the fresh paint, by feeling herself walking through the decorated rooms, and by seeing the whole thing paid for. In other words, she viewed the world from that place and felt its reality. That's the secret of creation, the feeling. Folks, know what you want. It could be more money, better health, a loving relationship, whatever and think from it. Give your imagination all the sensory vividness. Give it all the tones of reality that you can muster. Seeing, touching, tasting, smelling, and hearing until it's fixed in your consciousness. Then just watch. In a way you can't even think of, your imaginal act will be objectified and the world will call it real because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel. And the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course I've spread this message. And if you're new to LOA or manifesting, then go register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start creating the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.